All right, it's time for Yusuko February. Let's go.
Hi, so now it's time for some after contest review. I did pretty well. I got uh, one and two all correct, and then I guessed some of three correct. So, number one, um, the answer was to use um, permutations. So, you count each M swap as one permutation. So you end up with, you'll, you're going to end up with cows rearranged, right? After one, um, one loop, right? What's it say? Uh, one process, right? And the tricky part is that, that that's not hard. Um, the tricky part is having, doing that K time. So it, we can define a permutation as performing the process, right? Because each cow goes to a new location and then if we want to repeat the process again, we can just use the same new permutation to get the new cow. And we can think about that. <laughs> you can think about that for a little bit. And then, so if we want to do that k times, if we want to permute the cows k times, that's going to take way too much time because k is 10 to the 9. So, 10, 10, k is 10 to the 9, k is 10 to the 9, right? So, what we have to do is we have to use binary. We have to um, determine if we do the process once, twice, four times, eight times, 16 times, six, uh, 32 times, and so on. Um, <coughs> and then <coughs> since this is commutative and whatever, prop whatever other properties that permutations have, we can add up these permutations of length two to the n. And each number can be represented by a sum of powers of two in unique ways so we do that and that takes it takes log k times m time to generate the permutations that are powers of two and then it takes log k to get like the actual k result so it's m log k for this one next one uh triangles you can just straight bash it by looking at each point and considering all the triangles that are height and base <laughs> but that takes too much time it'll only get you like I don't know I'll see but the smart thing to do is to determine the heights uh, or the bases of the triangles uh, from each point like through a scan of the row and basically what you do is you determine the sum of all the bases and then you multiply it by the sum of all the heights I mean that's the bash way but we have to determine the sum of all the bases in a smarter way. So we first compute that for the leftmost point, and then we keep subtracting or doing some smart math stuff uh, for each point, iterating through the entire row until we get to the end. And that way we can determine the sum of the bases in uh, better time. And that takes like O root N, and that is why it is 10 to the 5 because then you get n root n which is about 100 million and 100 million operations is about the most like it can do um <coughs> sorry um you do the same for the height you start at the top or you start at the bottom and then <coughs> you keep iterating up uh to find the length of the height and then for that point you know what the product of the base and the height is pretty fast. Uh, you also have to sort them so you know which point is the leftmost and which point is the rightmost. Uh, so that takes root n log root n. Uh, root n log root n. Yeah. And then you do that for root n whatever rows or columns. And that takes n log root n, which is n times 1 half log n, which is just n log n. And then summing them up, I don't know. I'm bad at time complexity. But, you know, I also have to um, do other stuff soon. So I think that'll be the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I think this is the end.